today we're here to talk about administering wormers or anthelmintics effectively. And there are a number of general principles which you need to adhere to when administering these wormers to make sure that they are used correctly. It is also important that if you don't understand any of the directions that you seek further advice either from your veterinary surgeon or from your farm advisor or SQP. Always source wormers from a registered supplier and check the expiry date when you purchase the product. Always consult your advisor to make sure that you've sourced the correct product for the particular use. Make sure the wormer is stored securely and according to the manufacturer's instructions. For example, it might need to be kept out of direct sunlight and stored below a certain temperature. Once you've opened the product, make sure you use it within the date shown on the packaging and with white drenches, make sure that you shake the product well before you use it. It's important that you read the label and product insert so that the right animal is treated with the right product. The correct dosing equipment should be used for particular wormers, making sure that these, uh, dosing, this dosing equipment is uh, uh, well maintained, clean and uh, is calibrated to give the correct dose. The manufacturer's instructions should be followed when using these products, especially when using ear injections and intraruminal boluses. If scales are available, they should be used. If you don't have a scales, a weigh scales, then a weigh band is a useful alternative. It's then important that the animal is dosed according to the live weight given. When you're using wormers, it's important that you record the details of the treatment. That includes the medicine used, the expiry date, the dose rates, the withdrawal periods, and the person administering the product. The withdrawal periods of the drugs should be noted, and those withdrawal periods adhered to. Just be aware that the withdrawal periods do not relate to the length of persistency of the product. This will be shown elsewhere on the product label. Wormers should not be mixed with any other products, other wormers or other medicines, because this may affect the efficacy of the wormer. There are a number of uh, products available to treat cattle with, uh, and there are a number of ways of administering these wormers. Here are a selection here on the table. There are numerous others available on the market. It is, however, important when administering these treatments that you follow the 5R rule, so that's the right product to the right animal at the right time, using the right dose rate, and administered in the right way. Details of these are again available on the COWS website, www.cattleparasites.org.uk.